Flushing the CVAD is the skill you will use most often. Regular flushing helps to keep the line clear and prevents blood clots. Lines are flushed before and after giving medication. Some central lines are also flushed once or twice a day. The need for regular line flushing depends on the type of central line. To flush the line, prepare a work area that is clean, clutter-free, well-lit, and free from distractions. Minimize germs in the area. Keep away from people with colds, pets, and don't be in front of a blowing fan. Clean the work area with soap and water and dry with a paper towel. You can also cover the surface with a clean towel if it is not washable. Gather your supplies. This will include an alcohol wipe, clean gloves, and medication and fluids for flushing, sodium chloride, or heparin syringe. Check the medication or fluid. Check the labels to be sure you are giving the right medication at the right time. Wash your hands the right way. Anyone caring for your central line needs to wash their hands before and after they touch it. Here are the steps for washing your hands. Turn on the water and wet your hands and wrists. Rub your hands together to make a lather and scrub them well. Be sure to scrub the backs of your hands, between your fingers and under your nails. Continue rubbing your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you need a timer, hum the happy birthday song from beginning to end twice. Rinse your hands well and dry them with a clean towel. There are some times when you may be using an alcohol-based hand cleaner instead. Be sure to rub the cleaner over all surfaces of your hands and fingers until your hands are dry. Don't touch anything other than your supplies after you clean your hands. Put on clean gloves. Wipe the needleless connector with your cleaning solution, alcohol or CHG wipe, for 15 seconds. To insert the fluids, uncap the sodium chloride syringe. Remove any air by holding it upright and push the air out from the tip. Attach the syringe into the needleless connector. If there is a clamp, unclamp the tubing. Push the plunger slowly so the fluid goes into the tubing. Reclamp the tubing if a clamp is present. Follow the same directions if you will also be inserting heparin. Remember to always check to make sure you have the right medication and right dose. Heparin syringes can be 10 or 100 USP units per milliliter. The blue syringe is 10 USP units per milliliter and will be used for routine flushing. The yellow syringe is 100 USP units per milliliter and will be used when the CVAD will not be used frequently. Also check the syringe size. Use only a 10 milliliter syringe when flushing or giving medications. This will prevent excess pressure on the CVAD. You will repeat these steps for each CVAD lumen.